Now, one of the cool things about these read-only domain controllers is if they do get compromised. Now, this isn't part of the course, but it's something that's really, really handy. If they get compromised, you can go in and you can say, I want to delete that read-only domain controller. And it says, are you sure? And then it gives you a nice dialog box that allows you to identify which user accounts and machine accounts may have been compromised. And then I can go through and I can reset the passwords. Now notice by default it will reset all the passwords for the accounts that were cached. Um, I can also reset all the computer accounts, which means they're going to have to rejoin the domain. And then I will export a list to a text file. So I can go into that text file and notify John or Susan or Bill, hey, by the way, we had to reset your uh, passwords. Now a big gotcha with resetting passwords. If you're using the encrypting file system, EFS, and they are going through or you've issued them digital certificates and things like that, when you reset their password, and we're not saying you know they control it, delete, change the password. We're talking either the administrator goes in and resets the password, or we're using this to reset the password. It will blow out all of their local certificates, which means they won't be able to open up their EFS files. And if you've given them user or machine certificates, on that machine, it's no longer going to be there. So be very, very careful on uh, resetting passwords. Um, if I'm not worried that this machine was stolen, it just happens to be decommissioned, then I can say don't reset the passwords and then I can say delete. Now the interesting thing about this is remember that read-only domain controllers doesn't by default replicate everybody's password from the domain. It only replicates those passwords that were stored when people tried to authenticate. So I may have 30,000 users in my Active Directory uh, domain but only 10 of those users authenticated through that read-only domain controller. And of those 10, maybe half of them were set to not replicate to the read-only domain controller, so only five user accounts have to be reset. So this is a, this is a really good thing to, to be aware of. How do I find out who uh, authenticated on there? I can remove the read-only domain controller, and it'll give me the option to go in and extract all of that information.